Welcome to Uskell Penryn Dewi VA, Church in Wales 3 to 16 school. I'm David Haynes, the head teacher, and welcome to the Dewi campus. Education has had a fantastic history at the peninsula, starting in the 12th century with the Cathedral School, going through then to the opening of Uskell Dewi Sant here in 1902. Uskell Penryn Dewi was opened in September 2018 as the result of an amalgamation of three schools, formerly Ascol Solvach in Solva, Brodewi in St. David's, and also Ascol Dewi Santier. This is the reception area to Ascol Penryn Dewi, Dewi campus. The bus will drop you off in the car park here, and you can make your way then into the building via the reception area, or the double doors which lead into the hall area. Follow me in. Okay, so we're now into the reception area. As you can see, we have lots of images around the school, like our honours board. These are the first head boys and head girls of the school. You may have your name up there one day, but don't worry if you don't. All the pupils at Ascot Penryn Dewey are important, and we all we value every single one of you. Uh, you'll see images around the School of Crosses, obviously because we're a church in Wales school and our faith is very important to us, including our motto, be joyful, keep the faith and do the little things. And obviously you'll see images of St. David being in St. David's with our patron saint on the wall is very important to us. Hi, my name's Canon Lee Richardson and I'm a canon at the Cathedral, which has got a really strong link with the, the school ever since it's foundation and long before that when Dewi Sant, uh, the patron saint of Wales, was a monk here. Uh, there's been a link between education and the cathedral and so we're, we're kind of carrying on that link uh, with the school today and I come up to the school uh, several times a week and I've got good links with the, with the teachers and with Mr Haynes and with Mrs Thomas and uh, we try to establish the, the Christian ethos of the school uh, as it's a church school and these are some of the the things, our values board, the values of the school where we are. Uh, we want to express our faith, we want to respect one another, we want to be mindful and honest, uh, we want to be the very best that we can be. But more than that, we want to do the little things and remembering Dewey's very last words to his disciples, to be joyful, to keep the faith and to do the little things. Hello, Christ Sawyer, Skull Penryn Dewey. My name is Jane, or Mrs Styles. I work at reception. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in September. If there's anything at all that you need when you're here, if you're lost or have any worries about break times or lunch time, please come and see me. Always here to help you. Thank you. In the reception area, you'll also see these important people. If you've got any worries at any time in school, please find one of these members of staff and report your concerns as soon as possible. We're not a very big school. When we opened in 2018, we were around about 470 children across the three campuses, although that has grown rapidly over the last couple of years, and we're looking to be around about 600 very shortly. Follow me. This is the corridor leading down to the library and the IT rooms. Uh, we're very proud of our results at the school. All our children, we hope, maximise their potential, and this is what results day looks like at the school, where we have excellent results usually in, in, in August. Come down the corridor with me. If you've got any problems at any time, this is my office. Please come and see me if you're worried about anything when you start school. No, no issue is too small or too big. Come and see me any time. Order, Pa. Um, a lot of you probably already know me, Mrs. T, because you met me on the uh, on the transition day that you had earlier on in the autumn. So uh, welcome back to us, Lord Penryn Dewey. My role in the school is as assistant head teacher is all about keeping you safe and well. And here I am stood now in front of the wellbeing board. So uh, I'm the person that's really responsible for getting you to settle in with Mr. Butcher to make you feel safe and for you to know where you can go to if you if you have any concerns or if you have anything that you, you need to share with me, then you know I'm the person to come and see. So um, on the board here we have the 10 features of an excellent pupil, which I'm sure you're all going to be. So uh, we'll be getting all this information out to you. And I'm really, really excited about welcoming you here and the new staff now in, in September to, to us called Penry and Dewey. But in the meantime, be joyful, keep the faith, do the little things. Hello, my name is Jenkins. I'm assistant teacher here at Escort Penry and Dewey. I look forward to meeting you all in September. My job within Escort Penry and Dewey is to decide which lessons you have when and look at how well you're doing academically. 
I then create this together and put in reports to send your parents. So I hope you're all safe and well, and I look forward to seeing you in September. This is the oldest part of the school, and you see lots of images of pupils that were part of us called Derry Sant. That's the school that was here before us called Penner and Derry opened in 2018. This is the computer room. We'll have a quick look in here. This is where you have your computer science lessons. We also have two sets of uh, uh, laptops that can be trolleyed around the different classrooms so you can have your IT lessons or use the laptops in any subject that you're, that you're studying. Uh, also, we've got uh, uh, C-Touch screens in all our classrooms. I'll show you some more of those later. Let's go and have a look in the library. This is the library. You can come in here break time or lunch time, crash on the bean bags, a nice quiet area any time of the school day. Through the door there, you'll find a chess club at lunch times, which is very popular. There's some computers in this room as well, where you can do your work at lunchtime and break times if you haven't got access to computers at home. And as I say, the chess club runs in this location as well, many lunch times of the week. So the library was refurbished by the pupils as part of a, uh, a creative arts project. And these are some of the images the pupils took. This is the pupils' tree of knowledge, again, designed as part of the Creative Schools project. Hi, my name's Johnny. I'm a youth group here at School Penner and Derry. Um, I'm based in the Student Support Centre, which is next to the IT department. Um, my main role here is to look after you guys, look out for your health and wellbeing, support you, um, help you with any problems you may have, whether you think they're little things or some really big problems. Um, I also run after school clubs on a Monday, where we do sport, we do arts and crafts, we do some cooking, and anything you guys like, really. So yeah, I'm Johnny, and I'm the youth worker at School Penner and Derry. Hello everyone, I'm Mrs Probert. Uh, lots of you might remember me from your transition day. I'm the food and nutrition teacher here at School Penner and Dairy. Um, I can't wait to welcome you all back to us in September. Um, I look as well as the food teacher, I'm also the additional learning needs coordinator here at the school, working across the three sites. Um, and my job as the um, Elenco is to work with the team of LSAs, and uh, teaching assistants and our youth worker Johnny um, and we look at building IEPs for all the pupils with additional learning needs and supporting them in their studies here. Um, we also work with lots of outside agencies who come into the school to offer support too. You can usually find me uh, around here at lunchtime down in the student support where you can drop in and play a game, meet some new people um, and you can always drop in here if you've got any worries or anxieties. Hi, I'm Mrs Davis. I'm uh, the school ELSA, which is the Emotional Literacy Support Assistant. Um, so I'm here to help you with any problems you may be experiencing in school or outside of school and I'll try and help in any way I can. Um, you can find me in here all day, every day nearly. Um, at lunchtime, break time, we're here and we play games. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you all. As you walk through the school, the age of the building changes. So we're entering now from the, 1800, the 1800s, 1900s to about the 1950s and 60s. It's all been refurbished though, so it looks really cool for when you arrive. This is the canteen. Come and have a look. Welcome to the canteen. We can use this area for lots of different things, from dance workshops to drama studio. All we have to do is push the chairs out of the way. But don't worry, the chairs will be done for your lunchtime. As we're a faith school, we're all, always overlooked by Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, so he's always looking down on us. The school's open plan in this part of the school, uh, and this is the atrium. As you can see, the crosses are still around the building, and this is the Herdwood Williams Atrium, which was opened in 2018. The artwork was inspired by the Year 6 pupils during their transition work on the Adders Are Amazing project. Fantastic piece of work, and we're really grateful to the two artists that drew that. I'll show you some of the new parts of the building now. Brand new bits. Important part of the building, the toilets. As you can see, they're all open plan, and uh, lots of space, mirrors, and bits and pieces for you. This is where we have all our celebrations of success. Form time assemblies, uh, whole school assemblies, or whole campus assemblies. As you can see, our three houses are on the flags and you will join one of those houses when you first join the school. Also our school banner as well which we use during our school processions and uh, important events at the school. We can get about 500 pupils in here. 
This is the stage area where we hold our annual school productions. Um, we've got some, some fantastic lighting and sound equipment which we've uh, recently invested in. Croissant Year 6, I'm Mr Butcher uh, in our school Perimendary here. I'm your head of phase. I'm really excited to have you join us here in September. Uh, I'm in charge of Year 6, 7 and 8, which is our momentum phase. I'm really, really excited for you to join us in Year 7. Um, in, in the momentum phase, we, we, we have loads of fun. We're, we're in the assembly here with me every week, once a week, where you'll get loads of rewards and certificates and things. I love nothing more than having all of my children come up on the stage here and up on the floor here and getting all the certificates and being, being really seen for what they're doing and, and really awarded for everything they do here. I think at Uskol Permendale, we have really strong values. And I think it's really important that you, you join us here and in, you know, you take part in things and, and we're nice to each other and we're kind to each other here. And, I, and that's something I really, really enjoy in our momentum phase. So I'm really excited to have you join us here in September and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. This is the new part of the school, which was built in 2018. Come and have a look. We've got the English rooms on my left and right. These are the new maths rooms. And through the double doors, we'll have a look at the science slabs. Hello Year 6, looking forward to seeing you when you come to school. My name's Mrs Owen, I'm Head of Languages, Literacy and Communication. That involves English, Welsh and French. You've met some of our teachers in Year 6 already and we're looking forward to seeing you when you join us on the Derry campus in the autumn. So see you soon and take care of yourself. Thank you. The Derry campus is all on one level, apart from these four steps, the only four steps in the school. Don't worry if you've got any mobility issues, there's a lift alongside, so that'll get you up there, no problem. Let's go and have a look at the tech block. Moving from the new part of the school, this has been refurbished and was probably built in the 1960s. This is where design technology is taught, art, food technology, and there are also your own set of toilets here as well. We'll have a look in some of the rooms. This is the food technology. Have a look. I love coming to this part of the school during the day. Fantastic smells when the pupils are cooking. As you can see, industry standard worktops, and fantastic views of the tennis courts. This is the old part of the building, the engineering, design technology room, very popular part of the school. Lots of children like to come in here and make fantastic things using some of this equipment. Okay, we're at the chemistry lab here. As you can see, fully laid out for all your chemistry and science experiments. This is the art room, another very popular part of the school. Some fantastic work on the walls. Also great lighting for budding artists in the school. We're really blessed here at our school, Penryn Dewey, Dewey campus with the outdoor areas that we have, which you can explore at break times and lunch times. And also during your PE lessons, there's some great playing fields as well. Let's go and explore. Hiya, my name is Mr Evans and when you come and jot up to uh, the Dowry campus at Uskol Penryn Dowry in September, we hope I will be teaching you along with Mr Barclay and Miss Waters. And what we're going to do today is give you a tour of the facilities and talk about some of the activities you will be doing. Here we go. Okay, so this is the sports centre which we share with the public, so they're in there in the mornings but we use this for most of our lessons, especially the girls during the autumn term. Let's go and take a look inside. So when you come in here at lunchtime clubs in year six, you'll be able to use all the machines, the running machines, stepping machines, rowing machines and the cycling machines. And then as you get into years eight and nine and 10 and 11, you'll be able to use the weights machines over in this area at lunch times and sometimes in lessons. So this is the sports hall where the girls will be having their netball lessons for the first half term in September, October. And then after October half term, the boys and girls work together in their classes for basketball, gymnastics and football, which we obviously do outside. There'll also be clubs in here for netball and for 
uh, basketball as well. So if we walk down here, these are the changing rooms, uh, the girls' changing rooms and the boys' changing rooms. Uh, and we'll just go through the boys' changing rooms and back out onto the field. So this is where the boys get changed and the showers here and then we'll go back out to the rugby pitch. So you'll come out of the changing rooms and this is where you will have, the boys will have their rugby lessons in September and October and then later on in the year in March time both the boys and the girls will be doing rugby sevens which is what we finished with last month. And then I'm going to take you around to show you the mugger which is where you might be playing at lunch times, uh, football or basketball. And then later on in the school, you might have lessons there. And then we're gonna walk around and have a look at the tennis court, which is what year seven would have been doing at this time of year. The sun is shining, it's lovely there. And hopefully you guys will be doing playing tennis next year. Okay, so here are the tennis courts. Um, some of you will, will have already played here because you know that I'm a tennis coach as well but everybody in the summer term next year will be playing tennis. We've got three tennis courts here and then we'll put some mini tennis nets up on the mugger so that everybody can enjoy a game of tennis. So that's our facilities and I look forward to seeing you guys in September we hope with Mr Barclay and Miss Waters. Uh, I hope you are getting plenty of exercise and have a good summer before then. Can't wait to see you. Bye. Hi, I'm Eve Devonald and I started YPD in 2019. Towards the end of my time in Year 6 in my primary school in Broadhaven, I was really looking forward to being here at YPD, but it has been better than I ever thought it would be. I have made lots of friends for life. I've already had lots of awesome experiences. I've started to learn lots of new things in science and I've even started to learn French. I love doing sports and I love taking part in sports competitions while representing my school. All the teachers here are amazing. If you ever have any troubles or worries, they will always help. My favourite subjects are art and science. I enjoy science because we get to use the microscopes and learn about cells, which I find really fascinating. I also like art because we get to express ourselves through our work. In Year 6, the, transi the transition days were always great fun. I remember in the first transition days how much fun I had taking lessons and meeting new teachers in the day, which I found exciting because I, in primary I had only one teacher. I love lunch times because I get to socialise with my friends and there are some really fun clubs including netball, football and rugby. In YPD, there are so many experiences you can take part in. If you choose to come to school at YPD, I doubt you'll regret it. Thank you for listening and stay safe. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our school Penryn Dewey VA Dewey campus. Really looking forward to seeing you when you join us shortly. Be joyful. Keep the faith. Do the little things.